Hey guys, um, <laughs> ah, literally the second I start filming. Okay, um, I'm here today to do the booktube about me tag, I think is what it's called. Um, I was tagged by Brie Hill, and I want to say I think this is the fastest turnover I've ever had for a tag. Um, it's very exciting. So thank you, Brie, for tagging me. <laughs> um, so the first question is, what do you study slash what is your job? Um... I don't really want to say exactly what my job is just because I work for a very, very well-known company and I don't really want this YouTube channel to like be associated with that in any way. Um, but I do have two bachelor's degrees. The first one is in psychology. The second one is in nursing and I do work in a community nursing setting and I help people. So... <laughs> Um, question number two is, what is your favorite social media channel? Um, uh, YouTube, I guess. I don't know if I could, like, I don't know. It's hard for me. I feel like YouTube, I guess it is a social media because I'm interacting with human beings on it, but it's kind of strange because, like, you know, at, at the beginning it's just, like, you know, watching videos, but it does turn into kind of a social media situation. Um, and then Goodreads. I like Goodreads. Um... I don't really go on, I go on Facebook like once a day, I go on Twitter maybe twice a day when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed at night, and I go on Instagram like once every three days and then I feel ang anxiety because I have to like, I have to see all the photos, so I have to scroll through all of them and then I feel like I'm stuck on it for like two hours scrolling, which is very frustrating. Oh my gosh, I feel like I can see the computer screen glare in my glasses, sorry. Uh, yeah, so... I guess Goodreads. I can't really think of any other social medias right now. Um, uh, question number three is, if you had another channel, what would it be about? Um, that is a great question. I don't know. I will say that I used to have a different channel, and it was an unboxing channel. I was um, mildly addicted to subscription boxes. Excuse me. Uh, so right before I started my booktube channel, I had a um, unboxing channel, and yeah, Kind of embarrassing, but you know, it's so much fun to <laughs> unbox subscription boxes um, and to watch people for some reason. Now I kind of want to do that, but I shouldn't. I should focus. Um, all right, question number three Do you play any instruments? Uh, no. I'm kind of a boring person, you guys. I tried, my mom tried to get me to play the piano when I was young. I feel like my mom had this idea of like what kind of a person. I was going to be. And, um, I just, I'm just not, you know, if I don't get something right away, I'm not going to try to do it. And that's a really poor quality that I have, <laughs> um, because, you know, most things require practice and patience, but I don't have either of those things. Um, I tried also, I wanted to learn how to play the bass. Um, and actually, well, I started off with trying, wanting to try to play the guitar, but my hand couldn't like fit over, you know how you have to make all the weird shapes with your fingers. Like I couldn't like grip it. I'm sure there are like narrower he heads. Is that the part of the, I don't know guys. I'm not a very musical person. I was in choir. <laughs> uh, question five, what hobbies do you have other than reading, uh, watching Netflix? Does that count? I don't like going outside, um, so I should start doing that, though, because it's, you know, that's a thing that people like to do. Um, oh, I love cooking. I do love cooking and baking. Um, I feel like that is a hobby because I choose to do it when I could not. I could just make top ramen every day, but I do love cooking, um, and I don't really have any other hobbies. I, I used to sew a little bit. I used to knit a little bit. But all those things have kind of just like, I should, this is kind of encouraging me to maybe, but probably not do anything. Oh, sorry guys. Um, favorite TV shows? Oof, I don't even know. Right now I'm re-watching Charmed. I'm on the last season of Charmed and I'm re-watching The Office. I love Parks and Recreation. Um, that one's really good. We just finished that. And, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh. I, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Charmed, all, like, at least two or three times. That's, I don't know. I don't really have any 
favorite shows besides that. That's all I could think of because I didn't plan this at all. Okay, great. Uh, what got you into reading? Um, I'm going to say my parents. Um, I am, That must be what got me into reading. I feel like my mom at some point mentioned that, you know, when I was like a little baby or, you know, like a two-year-old, we would both be in bed and I would have my little book and she would have her book. But I obviously wasn't really reading my book because two-year-olds can't read, but, you know, looking at it. So parental influence. Um, what got me really into reading recently, though, is BookTube. I feel like before I joined BookTube, I was reading about 20 books a year, and I've read about 70 books a year since I started BookTube. So thanks, BookTube. Um, what are your favorite and least favorite genres? Um, I just pick it up if it's adult. I don't know. So I guess I don't think that YA is technically a genre, but if it is like a YA fantasy you know, whatever. I'm not into that at all. Um, I don't particularly gravitate towards romance or westerns either. Um, and I mostly like just reading plain old literary fiction. I don't know. <sighs> you know, but it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's good to not judge books based on their genre. <laughs> um, I'm so uncomfortable right now. I don't know why. Um, all right. Uh, what books define your childhood? Um, so I went through phases of my childhood. The first phase was the Berenstein Bears phase, and then I went into the Boxcar Children phase, and then Goosebumps, and then Fear Street, and then it was all downhill from there. I read Anne Rice, The Witching Hour, when I was like 15 or 16, which is like a fat, really messed up book. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it, even though there's horrible things like incest and stuff. Um, but you know, we all grow as people and I like reading books about messed up things. So, uh, and the last question is tell us an interesting fact about you. And I feel like I haven't really talked about this in a while and I have some new subscribers. I mean, you know, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm like, Whoa, but like, you know, some new subscribers, so hello, um, but I do speak Spanish and Italian and a little bit of French, so that's kind of interesting. Um, oh, I lived in Germany when I was a child, so I used to be able to speak German, but I moved back when I was like five, you know, I lived there when I was very young, and my mom said that I went to a, like, English-speaking school for one day, and then I came home, went to bed, woke up, and could only speak English, even though I was fluent in German the day before. So our brains are very powerful things, and the fear of being made fun of really will do things to you. I hope it's floating around in there somewhere. I have Rosetta Stone for um, French and German because I want to try to like get back into those a little bit. Um, I don't speak French as fluently as I do Spanish and Italian. My um, my mother is Dominican, and then my Dominican aunt married an Italian, so I've been going to Italy every summer since I was seven, so that's why I can speak Italian, and um, so it's more like ingrained kind of in my brain than French, because I just, I took French in high school, so, although it is similar, so that does help a little bit, but anyways, those are all the things that I have to say. Um, oh, I tag, um, oh gosh, where did I write down my list? All right, so I'm going to tag Jenny King and the ladies from Game of Tomes and my friend Marty over at Literary Epiphanies. So you guys are tagged. Uh, let me know if you have done this video and I will go check it out. Uh, sorry if I'm awkward and uncomfortable. I feel like I haven't done one of these types of videos in a long time and it's a lot of talking about myself. It's weird. Okay.